guys, welcome to a new video here on Be My Bride. Today it's going to be a really, really fun one because what's happening next week? So it's my hen! Yay! So Sophie actually knows what her hen do is going to be, which I think is good for someone as organised as so. Yeah. Then she knows what to pack. We are going to Valencia in Spain for a few days and it's going to be fabulous. So we thought it'd be really fun to show you what we're packing. If you have got any weekend breaks coming up, any city breaks, or any trips to Spain or a Hindu, then hopefully <laughs> this could be really fun and interesting. Um, Soph has come super prepared with her suitcase, so I'm gonna let you kick things <laughs> off. Um, okay, so I've actually pretty much packed for Valencia <laughs> already. Well. Um, so I'm just almost showing you what I was actually ready to go. And what's in my suitcase? What is in my suitcase? Um, so we are flying and only bringing hand luggage, so that's part of the reason why I have already packed. So it's quite difficult when you're going with just hand luggage only, you need to really think about what you're going to bring because you can't really start bringing 20 outfits, you need to have an outfit yeah. for every single day. Yeah, that's a good tip actually, plan your outfits yeah. from the accessories to your underwear to your shoes um, and what I like to do sometimes is take photos of the outfits, so I'll wear them when I'm trying them on then take snaps oh, and then yeah. my camera I'll always like, do, hmm. exa I always do exactly the same and check them as go. And the other thing I never think about is you think of an outfit and then you never think what shoes are going to go with it. Yeah. And that's really difficult actually when you're planning with just hand luggage only to think about shoes. Mm. Um, so I, I always travel with my heaviest pair of shoes on and yes. then I pack the lighter ones in my case. So that's a good show. And try and find a pair of shoes that maybe like goes with a lot of things. I didn't bring them with me but you guys may know my Kate Spade ones with the ruffles that I got when we were oh, last in town yeah, together. Yeah. Go with everything. Thank anyway, you. as we're hand luggage only, um, obviously we need a hand luggage size case. So I've picked up this lovely little case that's um, an it, I think that's what it's called, yeah. uh, case, and it's black with rose gold detail, and it was from Primark for £35. That I is think insane. It was. If you replace that it's logo with Ted Baker, it I think it was Ted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it really does remind me a lot of Ted. Um, and not only do they have it in Primark, they sell it in quite a few different other retailers as well. Mm. Next one. Another key thing when you're travelling hand luggage only is obviously your liquids, so you can only take liquids that are under 100 mils. Liquids. <laughs> <laughs> and they can only go into a very small little bag. Good. They can only go into this size bag. Um, so I also picked this up from Primark, which is a clear plastic bag, and it's got the mm. travel bottles in them. You can get a few different ones in Primark, but I went for the squeezable bottles. Good idea. So you can put your favourite shampoo and conditioner yeah, in there. Yeah, and I always find when you go for the normal ones, it's, I end up squeezing the bottle and breaking it anyway, so yeah. it's better to just get squeezable ones. But yeah, that's the size, and it comes with a little... One that you can put like moisturiser and stuff in as well. And that's so good because it actually comes with a, um, not yeah. a syringe, what are they called? Funnel. Funnel, yeah. Yeah. It's really great. And Genius. Pounds. Oh, what? Pounds All of that for a pound? So yeah. it's queen. <laughs> you know, find these amazing deals. Um, but yeah, obviously you need to think about what you can actually take in this very small bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can't, I tend not to bring my shampoo and conditioner actually as my hand luggage. I either buy it when I'm there. Genius. Or I buy it once I've gone through um, Even more genius. passport control. Because you can just get a full size one. Once you've gone through passport control, you don't need, doesn't need to. And on a hand do, I feel like we should probably just buy full sizes through passport control and just share. Exactly. Because exactly. we all have similar hair type. Um, so it's a waste to fit a shampoo and conditioner into that because I'm not going to be that fussy about what products I use on my hair on Hindu and I'm going to be more fussy about my skincare and my makeup. Mm. So a few other things that we have got, another key thing actually, deodorant, don't bring a spray, mm. get a roll on, mm -hmm. well, not roll on, what do you call this, like the dry type of deodorant because if you like go for a spray, deodorant. again it's got to fit in your bag and it takes so much room. Do they even allow aerosols? They do if they're under 100ml. Oh okay. But you, yeah, so it's like, why waste space yeah. <laughs> on things like so that? So would that not count as a liquid? No, because it's no. a block. Oh, I thought anything balmy counts as a liquid. No, because I'm pretty sure lip balms and things you, as long as, and lipsticks okay. are fine. It's just if they're liquid. Right. Then another thing, actually, take lip sticks rather than lip gloss. Yes. So some mum works for BA, so she is pretty good <laughs> these airline rules. So we have a, an expert on the case today. And um, what other things have we got? Another thing that Primark do, and you can't get in boots, is the hun under 100 mil mist No, I'm going to Primark later. Because oh they only gosh. do, I think it's 150 they do in boots. The slight, the small mist of water bit is yeah. not hun under 100 mil. No, Primark it's like 175. One. It's much bigger than that. And that's, that's amazing. 100. So again, perfect, but only in Primark. Yeah. And another thing when it comes to makeup is, rather with concealers, a lot of concealers are liquid, but you're better to go for a concealer that, like the Bare Minerals stick ones, stick ones because they are not liquid so you can put those 
in your normal makeup bag and they don't have to go in the and they're amazing concealer. and long lasting exactly. and yeah the fact that they're a brilliant concealer is another point to bring but <laughs> <laughs> um, and birch box I have recently just done a bridal birch box which is, is great for all of their little travel size things so they've got like a <gasps> that is Missler amazing. cleanser, but oh it's a God. tiny one. That's so handy. So you can bring that with you. It's so thirty good. mil from the Dauphin Lumiere Essentiel oh. collection, which is oh, divine. Yeah, because you want to be pampering yourself when you're handy. Exactly, like. and like you're going to be wearing a lot of makeup. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup. <laughs> so you want to make sure you've taken it off properly and really mm -hmm. like cleansed your skin. So that's a great one. That's what Birchbox is so good for. You yeah, can just like collect the travel size. minis. Oversize mask. Drink up intensive by Origins. That's one of my favorite. Have you tried that before? I have since I've used it from the virtual box, and so it is nice. really nice. Love you wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, this skin feels amazing. Oh. And they've got a little mini perfume, which again, brilliant, because you can't take a huge bottle of perfume, it's taking mm. up space, and also it needs to be under 100ml. I love that fragrance, oh. Floral Street. Yeah, it smells What's the brand? amazing. I think Floral Street is the brand, and the Wonderland Peony. The fragrance oh. is Wonderland Peony. Gorgeous. It smells amazing. It does. It smells like a like a sweet Chloe. Yeah, it does. I really it's like that. So lovely. A texturizing spray also came in the birch box. Hmm. Can I use some now? <laughs> <laughs> My hair needs texture. Uh, and then the couple of the other things are really great, but I wouldn't necessarily think, oh, I need to take those on my head. Um, Ooh, we've Paul got a Paul and Joe primer, and that's great, but it's quite a big bottle. Yeah, so that's really a big go, primer. Yeah, exactly. I'd go for a smaller one. Yeah. Um, Very nice. Yeah, so that's, that was what was in the birch box recently. See, that's kind of my little tips for how to pack in your little Hand liquid bag. bag. What you call it? Your little liquid bag. <laughs> liquid pouch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. And what fashion pieces have you got with you? Fashion pieces, I have had to get a few things that are white. Of course. So this is the problem that we had with Soph's so hen. So just said, <laughs> I had to get a few things that are white. Whereas I was like, I have to get some bits that aren't white. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Actually, before we get onto that, another little thing that I do is bring soap. So if you get a really nice smelling soap, I've got one from the body shop that Ooh, is yeah. really fragrant. Mm. If you put that in your case, in amongst your clothes, your clothes smell lovely mm. and you don't need to bring shower gel because you can just use the soap. So good. Do you ever put soap in your underwear drawer? Yes. Yeah. That's where I got the idea from. I always put it in my underwear drawer and then... It's so amazing. Soap, and then if you go to like expensive perfume shops and they give you the samples, I put them in my underwear drawer as well. Oh, good. I I've, got, I've got a few white pieces. First up, I've got a white bikini. Ooh, where's this from? This is from ASOS, <gasps> and it is actually one of their bridal range. Oh my god, breasts. this is stunning. This is so stunning. It you is really, really pretty. Banging. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> Wowzers. This um, looks like lingerie. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's part of their bridal range. So even after the hen, I, can wear, I wear it on the honeymoon as oh well. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Um, and it's got high-waisted buttons. So flattering. And they're actually quite high cut on the leg. Yeah. Which I really like. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. So Crazy tan lines, but you're going to be amazing. <laughs> well, I won't be trying to tan on my hair. Yeah, speaking of which, should we quickly say what beauty treatments we're getting before the yes, hair? Yes. I feel like you're the pro at this. Okay. Uh, so beauty treatments. I've actually already got my nails done um, ahead of time. And I'm getting my eyelashes done this mm -hmm. week. And I have my spray tan as well. Me too. Um, to make sure we're looking... Super bronze. Exactly. Um, we're only in Valencia for three days, so mm -hmm. we're probably not going to have much time to tan. No. Um, so yeah, get a spray tan beforehand. Yeah. Pro tips. Lashes and tan, I think, makes so much difference because oh, you feel so great as soon as you wake up, don't yeah, you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And you don't tans. really, like when it's very hot in the day, you might not really wear too much makeup, so you've, I feel like you don't really need it mm -hmm. when you've got your lashes and a tan. Mm -hmm. Although one of the things I have got with me is a gradual fake tan. But I know. I, that's why I've got the squeezy bottles, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to bring a gradual tan and put it in the squeezy bottle. Good idea. I'm going to have to do that because mine is definitely more than 100 mil. And what's your little uh, play suit that I can see uh, there? So there are no, so this is a little dress. Ooh. This is a little white lace dress. That is so beautiful. And that looks very self-portrait style. It's from Boohoo. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you're so good. Um, I love the eyelash detail on yeah, the Yeah, it shoulders. actually reminded me of a dress that I've seen in Coast. That yes, I, liked, I know the one that you the mean. It had like lines on it as well. Yes, and it has the almost like um, it has frills at the bottom, right? Yeah, I think oh, so. I, think I, I did. That. I I do really like that dress. But I think it was like oh, oh, it's like wow. hundred and something pounds. Yeah. Whereas this was twenty five or something like that. Oh my goodness! Are you gonna wear that for the last dinner? Yeah, yeah. so beautiful. And with a tan, that would look nice. Yes. And then the other only other white thing that I have um to go with a bikini is a little 
white lace kimono from Primark, again. Good idea, yeah, that's really cute. I like the drawstring at the waist. Yeah, it's really flattering when you tie it in. Really nice. It goes over the white bikini. Don't remember, I think that was like under 10 pounds <gasps> from Primark. Nailed it. Yeah, you've done uh, so well. The only other thing that I've got that's like fashion -y pieces is a little bag. So from accessorise. Yeah. Yes, I keep seeing these everywhere and they do that in big as well. And do I they? I haven't seen it in big. Yeah, like literally. Oh. Really big. <laughs> I thought this was a good one because it's, if you, quite often when you go through, uh, when you actually get on the plane, you mm. can't have an extra bag out of your bag. Mm. So you need to be able to put it back into your case. So this is quite flat, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to have my passport in my hand. I want to have, be able to walk around the airport. Oh, so we literally only have that? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ah! um, so, uh, yeah, so obviously I'm going to keep this out and then when we, when we need to go to the gate, we're going to put it in there. I think, because we're flying with EasyJet and I think they're one of the more picky ones with yeah. hand, only one item of hand luggage. Or you could just like wear that on your body and like throw it around. Yeah, like, you'll be fine. If you can get away with it, but I was thinking if I can't, I'm going to be able to just shove that straight mm. into my case. I always have a small bag with me, like a crossbody when I'm travelling, so you could just put passport, phone, exactly. money, exactly. fucking camera, and you're like... And then I, I like the style of this one because it, I think it's quite nice for the day, it's mm -hmm. quite casual, but it could be kind of dressed up a little bit for the evening as well. Because yeah. again, only taking hand luggage, can't bring millions of bags. <laughs> You've nailed like all the summer trends as well. It's like straw bag, round bag, cross uh, over your shoulder yeah. bags. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. And it was £25 for accessorise, so. So good. Bargain. Well done, darling. Oh my gosh, you're now going to see how unorganised I am in comparison. <laughs> I've just like grabbed a few outfits. I'm going to put the Prosecco down. You can now grab your Prosecco and like try and catch up with my <laughs> tips <laughs> Right, so I'm going to start with my more practical item, and I know that hand luggage is short on space, but I can now not travel without this, <gasps> and we can all use oh it. Oh my god, such a good idea, especially yeah. when you're travelling with, with hand luggage, I think, actually that's another tip with hand luggage, mm -hmm. roll your clothes. Roll your clothes, but yeah, then that means they get very tip. creased, so yeah. this is amazing. This does not leave my side now when I travel, this is the Philips Steam & Go, which apparently is sold out everywhere now, but... I will try and we'll, we'll do some detective work, we'll find it. It's amazing, it's light-ish, um, and it's small. And it's great, for, it's great for silky fabrics, which I have quite a lot of, and I hate ironing, I'm rubbish at ironing, um, and I don't have time to hang my clothes in the shower while everybody steams my clothes, so this is definitely coming with me. Um, Sophie's younger sister, Katya, has told us that on the beach day, we're all wearing black and Sophie's going to be wearing <laughs> white. Again, don't worry, Sophie knows all of these details already. <laughs> so I have got myself, which as you can imagine, if you watch my YouTube channel, is a bit of a conundrum for me. I, I, I said that to any black. Um, Katia, actually. I said, oh my god, does Josie know that she's got to wear black? And she was like, yeah, Josie said that she's okay with it. And I was like, I feel so bad. She's, <laughs> I'm making her it's do an something. It's an excuse to go me. shopping, so it's fine. But I found this bikini from Reese and I thought it was very chic um, and I'm actually really looking forward to wearing it. It's just yeah, kind it's of like so striped nice. material. It looks quite like thick. It looks like it would be really flattering on as well. I hope so. I've and not actually back, tried it yet. Living. Exactly. It's got like structure on the bazoom area. Um, it's got a crisscross back. Again, tan lines are going to be cray cray, but hopefully with some nice factor 50. So this is what I'm going to be wearing on the day when we are going to a beach club. And then I was trying to think of items in my wardrobe that are not white. <laughs> um, so for... This could actually do for day trips or even as an evening thing. I might wear it as an evening thing. There is one evening so where us girls that are not so are wearing black. I have not found that outfit yet. <laughs> I will still do some online shopping. If you've got any recommendations, let me know. But this is definitely not white. It is a coral dress. I got this um, from Revolve and there will be no mistaking. That is it's so white. lovely. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's got I that lash detail as well. It's beautiful and it's also got pockets which everybody is obsessed oh. with. Pockets. And yeah, just nice and bright, very kind of Spanish Valencia style. Um, I'll do the clothes and then I'll move back to the slightly more boring <laughs> things. This, I think, actually looking back is too bridal, so that's not going to come with me. This um, is quite a nice day dress. Ooh. This was £49 from Topshop. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's so pretty. It's one of these things that if we have like a full day out, then yeah. this will work for um, like a casual breakfast, a slightly smarter lunch, and I won't, I will just feel like I'm always dressed well. It's got quite a high Ooh. slit you can undo the that's buttons. nice because it's quite airy yeah and yeah. It, i think like with the buttons that you can kind of make it seem a bit more casual exactly yeah you can like make it up or down yeah um that's quite really a versatile nice. piece and again 
I mean, it's based on white, but it's not totally white. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got white right for all the days. There are some days okay. you can wear white. <laughs> okay, fine. Let me know. <laughs> this is my white thing that, I mean, I love, but again, I'm probably... You can wear white. Honestly, as one no, night, I'm not allowed. There's one but... night I'm wearing white. Okay. But the rest of the nights I'm not wearing white, so okay. go for it. Well, you'll have <laughs> to... And you're a bride as well. <laughs> yeah, not yet. This is, all, this is all about you, but I just thought I would show you guys this jumpsuit. Anyway, in fact, this can be the debate piece. Give me a yes or a no in the comments as to whether you think this is acceptable to wear on someone else's hand. I cannot do the button up, but it is this adorable little oh, play suit from so Reese, nice. and I'm just desperate to wear it because it's so cute. It's so, so cute. And it doesn't take up too much room in a suitcase. No, so and I feel like that wouldn't crease that much either. No, and it's got like pleated detail in it already. It is silk, so it'll be quite easy to steam with my steamer, should the need arise. This is my um, essentials case, and in here I keep things like memory cards, um, lipsticks, and spare batteries for my cameras, but also my passport and any euros. So this, whether I have it in my, I was going to say hand luggage, but we only have hand luggage, so this is just where I go for my important items. My Kate Spade dress, which I am just absolutely in so love gorgeous. with. I just, I just want to wear this every day it's for the rest so, of my I life. I feel like it was designed for you. I love it and the material is just divine. I think it's very Valencia as well. Yeah, I um, love it. It's got like the little bits of velvet on it. Yeah, like you can't really see from far away but some of the velvety florals are a little bit pearly, some of them are totally transparent. I wouldn't be surprised because it was very expensive if this was like hand dyed as well. But it's just, or like batik, they've used some kind of crazy technique. It's, it's so really hard to dye silk. But um, because it's my favourite piece of my wardrobe, I'm going to be bringing this along with me. And then um, makeup bag I'm not going to go through, but something that will be very important and I will probably pack multiple of is a portable battery because we're going to be snapping like yeah. crazy. We are going to be doing a lot of Insta photos, so be sure to be following both me and Soph and be my bride on Instagram because yeah. there'll be a lot of snapping going on. So a mobile phone charger is an absolute must. So this and any others I can find in the house will definitely be coming too. So another little hack is within because we're taking we're taking hand luggage only we can't fit huge big beach bags in our bag um and we are going to the beach so mm -hmm. we're thinking i was thinking i need to bring a tote bag tote bags are an essential whether you're going long yeah. haul short haul whether you have hand luggage or um hold luggage always pack a tote bag but they, also, they can fold up so small yes and also i'm trying to sing where i'm being like plastic neutral so if you have one of these yes. in your um handbag all the time and especially when you're going through the airport you don't have to then carry your prep bag your boots bag your debut smith bag just shove all your magazines yeah. All of your coffees and your sandwiches in one of these. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I was thinking for the beach, like with my towel. I love that it's De Beers. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, oh, you know, when I went <gasps> oh to choose God. a tote bag and I had a De Beers one, I was like, well, it's got to be. It's <laughs> love exactly. It. Um, yeah. So. Got De Beers and tote bag. Why not? <laughs> Representing as boys. <laughs> so those are the pieces, or a few of the pieces, um, that we thought would be interesting to share with you that we are going to be taking on Sophie's hen. Yay! Um, so we really hope you enjoyed looking through these bits and bobs with us. If you feel like we've missed anything, then let us know in the comments. Everything that we've mentioned, where possible, will be linked in the description box, so check that out. Um, and Sophie and I are having a bit of a brainstorm for future video ideas, so if there's anything you'd love to see, then please let yeah, us definitely. know. Yeah, um, definitely. We're also trying to boost our Instagram, so if you're not following Be My Bride on Instagram, then please do that. And Soph has been working super hard on the blog too, so check out www.bemybride.me. <laughs> that should be a song we should create. <laughs> we should have Prosecco in all our videos, I feel like I it's made really lively. I worry that when I drink Prosecco, I pull a really weird face. So I'm like yeah, trying to drink it. <laughs> Actually, for my um, wedding like day season. as well, because I feel like everyone's been looking at me. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> can't do when you're laughing. <laughs> you do it. Oh. I do, don't I? I it's like a. I used to worry for the wedding because I think everyone's been watching us when we're toasting, and I'm just going to be like, only if they're like intently staring though. You'll be fine. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, then please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you very soon in our next one. Bye! Bye. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else.